Hello! Welcome back to Let's Play Monkey Island. And this is the final part of this Let's Play series. Well, so we have the Tales of Monkey Island, which is divided, divided up into five chapters. Starting with Launch of the Screaming Narwhal, or Narwhal, or however you want to say it. Unicorn of the, of the Sea. I don't care. But anyway, there's quite a few changes between Escape and Tales. Most noticeably, probably about 10 years and a different games company. But we'll go into all the, uh, the gump later. For now, let's make a start. Legendary 13th monkey of Montevideo, <laughs> whose sacrifice will eternally bind the oceans themselves <laughs> to my infernal will. Arr, ha, arr. Impressed yet? Not half as much as I'll be when Guybrush guts your diseased carcass with his voodoo cutlass, you doddering sack of scum. I wouldn't hold your breath waiting for any last minute heroics, dear. The last I saw of your mighty pirate husband, he was being torn apart by a school of my ravenous piranha poodles. All right, LeChuck, put down the monkey and back away from my wife. Guybrush! Arr, three foot! You've led me a merry chase, but soon the dread mysteries of these ancient simians will be mine, <laughs> and the seas will run red with the blood of my enemies. Har, har, har. Oh, yeah, well, you fight like a... No time to waste, Guybrush. Finish enchanting that sword before LeChuck completes his spell. I'm on it. One LeChuck defeating cursed Cutlass of Kaflu coming up. Now, where did I leave those handy voodoo instructions? They're pinned to your mast. Oh, yeah. So... We've got two different options we can to move. We've got the WASD keys, and we have the mouse. But for I'm used to using the keyboard uh, controls. Come to Guybrush, you spooky voodoo recipe, you. Well, I had to sail six of the seven major seas to find the ingredients, but I finally finished the cutlass. Almost. Now all I need to do is find some fizzy root beer to spray on it, and LeChuck's as good as toast. Icky disease toast. My beautiful butter. What? I said, Elaine, my beautiful butter. My beautiful butter? I was gonna say buttercup, but you keep cutting me off. Oh, God, Rush. Now stop the chucker, we're all dead. What's going on here? The chuck hijacked my ship and sailed to the Rock of Gelato to finish his terrifying voodoo ritual. It's a good thing we've got the cutlass of Kaflu on our side, or we'd be done for. The recipe says I'm supposed to soak the cutlass in magical root beer, but I can't find any. Have you looked in that creepy monkey coffin? Right, because everyone keeps their magic root beer in a tiny monkey coffin. Are you okay? I'm fine. Finish the recipe. Do you need anything? I said I'm fine. Just finish the recipe. <laughs> Want me to get anything from the hole? I brought some pot stickers. No! Finish the recipe! Why do you keep shouting at me? I'm not shouting! I'm projecting! Har, har, har. Right, there's only one the or two things to do. Time, Chuck. I'm just not that into you. There you go. Ah, 
the legendary monkey casket of Kauai. I'll never forget the horrible hula of Hades I had to do to get this thing. Is this thing sloshing? Four words you don't want to hear when you pick up a coffin. The inventory system in this game is just strange. I wonder how you open this thing. Aha! A seltzer bottle full of root beer. I haven't seen one of these since before I had a beard. Bet this stuff will work wonders on my cutlass. So to view items, you have to press the button and press on the item itself. Fizzy fills breath mint. Give your mouth the gift of fizz. And to combine items, you have to put them here and here, and press this button here. Why you can't just... I don't know. But anyway, it's part of the game, so I just have to accept it and carry on. Whoa, this city! And that's it. We are done. Prepare to meet your frosty carbonated maker, LeChuck. Arr! Come and get me, a dirt digging doily dipper! Arr! Stop showboating and spray the sword, Guybrush! I'm not showboating, I'm. Arr! Arr! Whoa! Oops. Now we're going to die. Again. Oh, wonderful. Okay, no problem. I just need to find a fresh supply of impossible to find voodoo root. I sure hope there's some on Elaine's ship, because mine's as dry as a bone. And not one of those wet bones. I'm talking a dry, dry bone. Thank you for the help, game. Cease your inf Elaine! What? Elaine, you've got inordinately strong thighs. See if you can swing me that rope. <laughs> it's not long enough! But I've got a better idea! How'd you do that? You don't spend several years at the side of Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, without picking up a few tricks, darling. My ship! My booty! My collection of autographed sextants. We'll buy you some more sextants later. Just stop, LeChuck. Ah, three wood. So good of you to join us. Saves me the trouble of having to sink your ship. Nothing can stop me. Elaine. Guybrush? Now that we're reunited, what should we do? First, you should look for a way to replace that root beer you dropped. Sorry it took so long to catch up with you, but I've been busy digging up arcane voodoo items. Did you miss me? Buckets. Now put this pirate out of our misery. You wouldn't believe the adventures I've been having. There was a death hula, an ice-breathing accountant... You can tell me all about it over dinner. Right after we stopped the rampaging undead pirate over there. <laughs> so, what have you been up to while I was out adventuring? Ah, oh, the usual. Mayhem, swashbuckling, a troubling encounter with an enchanted aardvark. Now my hold's full of monkeys and Captain Personality over there thinks he's gonna marry me. Again? Talk about obsessed. Well, it'd be flattering if I wasn't so married and he wasn't so dead. What's LeChuck doing with all these monkeys anyway? I think it's some sort of blood sacrifice in exchange for the secret language of Plankton. Or maybe he just really hates monkeys? It's all been a little vague. That's strange. LeChuck's soul-chilling schemes are usually so well-planned. Right. Those roots could really use a trim. What do we have? Let's see if we can cut back some of those unruly roots. There. Much neater. Nothing can stop me now! <laughs> hey, the Chuck! Ow. Aha! We have Grog. Let's see if these roots add anything to this horrible not Grog. Ugh. 
This root grog is bland, joyless, and jejun. It's also flat. So we need to add some fizz. Now that's some fizzy root grog. I bet it still tastes like monkey snot, though. Okay, you barrel of disgusting locale goo. Make yourself useful. Booyah! Look out, LeChuck! Here comes Guybrush Threepwood's glowing sword of hot monkey vengeance! <laughs> Nothing can stop me now! Ha <laughs> LeChuck! Do you mind? I'd be in the middle of an unholy ceremony here. Unholy this! Unholy this? Yeah, I know, but he didn't give me much to work with. Hey! Arr, arr. You can't defeat me that easily, sheep good. Wait, what's happening? Is that how the cutlass is supposed to work? I don't know, it's so bright. What the heck? Woof. I... Uh, I'm human. That's debatable. Guybrush, quick! Finish him off! What? Oh, right! This is for the monkeys, LeChuck! What are you doing? Finish him! It's not me, it's my hand! It won't... Uh-oh. Elaine! Guybrush? me hearty what don't worry we'll have you up and sucking back a grog in no i don't my beautiful pirate don't i'll get you for this you craven build rat sorry I, I don't know what got into me oh this can't be good you know you really should have that look that kid huh the name's nippikin Davy Nippikin, senior reporter, Keel Hollow Gazette. Welcome to Flotsam Isle. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Actually, I... Great! What's your name, where'd you come from, and how'd you get here? So, here we are. That's the prologue finished with, which was kind of like a mini-tutorial. So, it, oh, the fun starts here. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, and... Pirate, eh? Well, I believe it when I see it, kid. Still, it'd be nice to have a real genuine pirate buckling his swash around Flotsam Island again. Um, Why, I haven't had an honest-to-goodness pirate story to write about in over six months. You're right. Yes, sir, e Bob. Nothing like the promise of a good pirate story to get the old journalistic juices flowing again, says hey. I. Say, just listen to me prattling on while you stand there all wet and confused and whatnot. So, what's your story, Creepwood? This island looks, uh... Lovely, but where can I find a ship? I really need to get back to the Rock of Gelato and find my wife. 
Well, there's only one ship here on Flotsam Island, but it won't do you any good. Why not? It's the winds, Threep Wand. The winds! Here on Flotsam Island, the winds are always blowing inward 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's a freak of nature, a fluke, a curse. Whatever you want to call it, the result is the same. Once you've landed on Flotsam Island, you're trapped! Are you seriously telling me there's no way off this island? Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. <laughs> oh, God. Deep Gut? What's a Deep Gut? Deep Gut's my secret source for off-island news stories. And it's a good thing, too. Without the Gut's uncanny inter-island scoops, the Keelhaller Gazette would never be able to compete with those snooty prima donnas over at the Flotsam Times. Off-island news? Hey, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this Deep Gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. Baby J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sources to every Tom, Dick, and Guy brush that washes ashore. But I can pay you, with treasure, from my ship. Which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate, so I'll make you a deal. A deal? Yeah. Our island news is nice and all. But the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty, local pirate news. I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid! You can translate that moxie into news-making pirate mayhem, and I'll hand you deep gut on a silver platter! Yeah, this'll be a snap. A snap. A snap. Ow! <laughs> Right. Time to do the old exploring and stealing. Attention! Club 41, Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization, is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest and please go away. Card? Card? What card? Fair enough. Wind still sucks. Flotsam Island endures 1,138 straight day of unwelcome winds. I think this is a game with only one mouse uh, button needed. Yep. Printer's Ink, the lifeblood of the newspaper industry, lovingly harvested from squid udders. And that's why they've adopted this uh, system here. Oh, we've got nothing in our inventory. It's locked. No one allowed in there but Keelhauler employees, Leapwood. You're thinking of becoming a reporter? Oh, heck no. Didn't we just start off with having a deal about being a journalist? Hey, Davy. Call me Nippikin, kid. Everyone else does. I'd rather not. Right, we'll get back to him later. Bye. Keep up the pirating, kid! I'm rooting for ya! Hey... It's an empty, smelly jail cell. Kinda like the ones back on Melee Island. Good times. Whoever built this jail really wanted to put the burr in brig. Those eye carvings are creepy. Smells like a puzzle. Hear ye, hear ye. Owing to the unprecedented downturn in criminal activity on Flotsam Island, I've locked up the courthouse and taken a long-delayed three-month sabbatical. Please don't break any laws until I return, or else. Sincerely, Judge Grindstump. Wait a minute, I think I missed something. Any news? Nope.
There it is. Pirates plundering your palace? Buccaneers bashing your balustrades? Swashbucklers slicing your stomachs? Then you need Morgan Le Flay, Pirate Hunter par excellence. Great, a pirate hunter. I need that like I need a fourth nipple. Alphabet sale. Free vowels while supplies last. It's locked. Right, there's not many people about. Get out of there. Oh, I'll remember this place quite vividly. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early Creepy. The doctor is busy. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or Oops. early Creepy. Before I clicked on the door before. What a crummy sconce. Uh, I'd better pick this up before someone notices, um, trips over it. Right. There should be one person around you here at least. Holy screaming starfish! I think I've just found my ride off this stinking island. Not so fast, my well-coiffed friend. Who? Reginald Van Winslow, captain of the Screaming Narwhal. And you are? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Oh, really? What can I do for you, Mr. Mighty Pirate? Heave to and strike your colors. I've come to seize your ship. You have? Jolly good. No one's been man enough to take the Screaming Narwhal for over two years. Huh. He's got a really good attitude for someone who's about to lose his ship. Why are you so happy about me seizing your ship? I love a good challenge. Girds the mind and sharpens the loins, don't you know? Huh? Nice ship. Were you drunk when you built it? <laughs> good one, boyo. But I didn't build the screaming narwhal. It was assembled by a committee of concerned flotsam citizens. Were they drunk? No, but they had to use whatever floated ashore. Hence, the aforementioned constructed by Soft's look. Well, if you didn't build the narwhal, why are you the captain? By tradition, whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain until he's knocked off by the next guy. So all I have to do is knock him off, huh? Do you know anything about Club 41? Club 41? Wonderful place! I haven't been there since I lost my membership card when I seized the narwhal. How'd you end up on Flotsam? Same as everyone else here, lad. The winds! I was chasing some brigand that had stolen my hard-earned booty when all of the sudden Flotsam's capricious winds picked up my ship, shredded it to bits, and plunked me down here on her bounteous shores. Be seeing you. I look forward to it. I have to say, it's nice to... It's nice having the original Elaine vo uh, voice actor of Elaine back. One thing is, that's interesting to note, I was looking up a bit with the cast in this game, there's two different voice actors full of Chuck. I'm not too sure why. I'll probably be more apparent later on, but I just thought that was quite interesting. It's been a few years since I last played this. Nothing more piratey than the old climbing up the anchor trick. <laughs> oh, dang. You'll have to do better than that, lad. Yeah, you run. The Screaming Narwhal may not be particularly pretty or seaworthy, but at least she's a ship. This does not look like it'll be good. Prepare to be boarded, then, Winslow! <laughs> Whoa, ah, ah. Be 
bacon grease, boyo. Slickest stuff in the seven seas. Oh, crud. This jacket was an anniversary present. And now it's all covered with bacon grease. Man, is Elaine going to be PO'd? Right, those are the only two routes. It looks like we won't be getting on here for a while. I have to say with Garbush, he's looking like a mix between the first two games. Blue jacket and beard. Was it the no. Anyway, never mind. Well, we can't get on this ship, so let's steal his underwear. Hey, there's something in this sock. Club 41. Probationary member number 37. Reginald Van Winslow. This should come in handy. I said, let's take that his sock gold. needs a good darning. Darn you, sock! Sheer, sexy, and playful, with plenty of support for the active pirate. Okay, maybe not. And the and the dead winds crest you <laughs> in the bottle of grog. Wow. Never thought I'd see a pirate selling glass unicorns for a living. Hey, and I never thought I'd see a talking baboon. So I guess we're even. Wait a second, there's one thing I needed needed to do. Need to find out some more about this Morgan the Flay character. Hey, do you know anything about this LaFlay guy? Morgan LaFlay, beastly chap. Keeps a nest of trained scorpions in his beard. Or so the story goes. Scorpions, eh? Huh? I should try that the next time Elaine complains about crumbs in my beard. And I never ever ever do a thing about the weather, because the weather never ever does a thing for Free me. fowls! Get him wild there! Ahoy there, scruffy artisan! I'm Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Ahoy yourself! I be Gaffer Crimp Digit, pirate glassblower! How do crusty pirate like yourself wind up making little glass unicorns? Listen, matey. Glassblowing's every bit as dangerous as sailing the Spanish main! One false move with your glass jack near the glory hole, I get to kiss your eyeballs goodbye. <laughs> I can? I'm not sure that's biologically possible. Sorry, just the word glory hole. I just turned into a 12 year old for a second. So, unicorns, huh? Aye, graceful, delicate creatures they are. Though, to be honest, they aren't selling so well to the pirate community at large. For my next project, Maybe I'll be making something that really speaks to them. Assuming I can ever sell these blasted horny buggers. What can you tell me about Flotsam Island? Well, you probably already know about Flotsam Infernal Winds. But has anyone told you about the reefs? The reefs? Aye, the crystal reefs of Flotsam Island. Sharper than a dragon's tooth they be. They encircle the island, shredding in a ship foolish enough to get caught in Flotsam's winds. Yikes. What's this alphabet sail all about? Well, it's the latest thing. I make unbreakable tubes in the shapes of letters, which can be used to create festive, illuminated business signs, novelty mementos, or lamps. Kitchy. Aye, very camp. Consonants cost 48 pieces of eight. But today I'm giving away one free vowel per customer. Would you like a vowel? I think I'd like one of those free vowel tubes. You'd like to buy a vowel, eh? Here you go! A U? What about A, E, I, O? Or even Y? All sold out. All we got is U tubes these days. Oh, God. Thanks for chatting, but I got a wife and arch nemesis to return to. Aye, who doesn't? <laughs> oh, yep. The reason behind this might become more apparent later on, but while I'm running around, I thought to do this anyway. Know anything about this pirate hunter? The Flay? Ah, you'd best be steering clear of him if you know what's good for you. The way I hears it, his face is so hideously grotesque that most pirates slit their own throats at the mere sight of him. Right. No, really. I heard it from a friend of a guy. A friend of a guy who slit his throat. Oi! 
what can you tell me about this Morgan LaFlay guy? A pirate hunter? Oh, he's a mystery, that one. How so? Stories about LaFlay started trickling in about a year ago. Frightening, fantastical tales of a hard-as-nails pirate hunter with ice in his veins and death in his eyes. Spooky? Spooky, sure. But none of the stories jived. One pirate would testify to a daring escape from a red-bearded giant. The next would spin a yarn about a peg-legged midget. Either there's a whole fleet of pirate hunters sailing around calling themselves Morgan LaFlay, or somebody's hiding something. Right, so there's one last location to explore here. Card? Card? Oh yes, my membership card. Here you go. Very good, Captain Van Winslow. Here's your blindfold. Blindfold? Come now, sir. You know the rules. All probationary Club 41 members must wear blindfolds inside the club. Right. How silly of me. Very good, sir. Find the step. I've heard you make a mean gragatini. I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. Ow! Get him! Ow! Oof! Look out for his hand! Get up the hand up, you cracker croaker! Aye! What a fight! That was spectacular, Driftwood! Best pirate brew how I've seen in months! I don't know what got into me. It was like my hand was possessed or something. Possessed, you say? Hmm. Sounds like there may be a follow-up story there. Keep feeding me these Barfo pirate stories, Threepwood. I'll be handing over the secrets of Deep Cut before you know it. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. I swear there's something else I need to do, but right now it's pretty much coming up to time. And in the next video we will be just exploring the jungle. So, for now I'm going to leave it here. And I'll see you again sometime very soon. Take care now. Bye bye.